What is the best tool to create a nice looking resume? I've used Canva, Microsoft Word doc before to create the resume. While those tools offer certain benefits like having different nice looking themes and easiness to create, most of them focus too much on fanciness while taking up too much space, career estate, and professionalism. I needed another tool that looks more professional while easier to edit through a programmatic approach instead of some graphical user interface drag and drop approach. Back in the college day, I remember using my engineering schools, Career Center offered an online tool where I could simply enter my experience, my courage, and skills through a form, and then the tool generated PDF copy of my resume, which I then could download. But after I left my university, I could no longer leverage the tool. I remember LinkedIn offered something similar back then, but it no longer offered one. Enter Latex. I heard of this Latex while I asked my friends and networks about the best tool to create a resume. What is Latex? No, I'm not talking about that lover like Latex where you hear terms like Latex Torrent. Latex spelled with the capital letters on L, T, and X is a document preparation system that has features designed for the production of technical and scientific documentation. There's another tool called Overleap, which is technically an online latex editor. Although there is a free version for this, I did not want to go over complicated things. You can try out this tool as well, but I will focus on latex as it is in this video. So how to start with the latex? Very simple. Headed to the following website, latex-project.org. It's based on its own license system called Latex Project Public License. It is a free software, but not exactly an open source. From there, click Get in the menu. If you scroll down, you should see options for different operating systems. I'm going to choose one for Mac OS, but you can choose another operating system. You will be taken to a different page. You have multiple options. One is a regular version, which is over 5 GB in size. Although this is quite a big file, I highly recommend to, to download this. Other one is a basic. While you can download this and try it out, I assume that you will go with the normal one. Again, it will be different if you're using other operating systems like Microsoft Windows or Linux. But the process should be pretty much similar. I'm going to download this package on Mac OS. After I download this, I'm going to open it to start installing. You'll go through steps like Introduction, Readme, License, Destination Select, Installation Type, and finally Installation. The total size was about 9GB when I downloaded it and installed it. After you installed it, you'll find some application that get installed after installing Latex. I'm showing an example using Mac OS, so you should find similar options in Microsoft Windows or other operating system. If you click Latex it, you'll see an example like this. 
we will not use this option directly. If you open text shop, you'll see a view like this. This is what we will use, but we will not use this directly either. Instead, we'll find a sample resume template and download it. Search in an engine like Google. I'm going to download this medium length professional CV from lextemplate.com website. Once you open it, you'll find two files here. One has a CLS extension, and this is the one that programmatically processes, so you don't have to modify this. Instead, we need to modify this template file. So open it with text shop. You should be able to open it by double clicking it. But if you cannot recognize the right tool to open this file, right click or select options to choose the right tool to open. If you open that file with the .txt extension, you'll see it looks like this. Click typeset button and you'll see it bring up template console window. Make sure to give permission to access your local files. Ta-da! You should see your generated PDF file. Easiest way to test this out is to change the name. In this case, it is a John Smith. Change other things as well. I'm going to update the education section. Then, if I click the typeset button again, it will bring up the updated PDF file like this. You can also find this PDF file in the same directory where you have CLLS file and TEX file. That's it. Hope you find this video useful. And it would be great if you can click to like this video and subscribe to this channel.